This is the uh, card that I'm going to be placing that core on. I'm not doing it today. I'm tired already. It's getting late. Um, but I just wanted to quickly uh, remind you that uh, <clears throat> a reball and the reflow is completely different. Uh, the reason why you want to reball uh, a core instead of just doing a quick reflow is because you see those points there on the on the main board. Let me see if I can focus here. Uh, okay, so uh, those pads, uh, those pads there, they can become ripped off off the board, and you see those data link, those data lines there. They go to the core, under the core. Um, those data lines uh, are connected to the G to the GPU core via this uh, points here. You know these little balls. Um, and if you just do a reflow, and these pads or these balls here are ripped from the board, when you do the reflow, it won't matter because it's, the reflow is, has nothing to connect to. The pad is already ripped off. Um, so what you would have to do 99% of the times is just do a complete reball. Uh, a reflow can sometimes do the trick depending on the situation. You have to be the judge of it. But this is why, you know, 99% of the times it's better just to reball the core, put new balls on it. Um, and but But the main reason, the main reason is to check and see how everything is under the core because a lot of times if you're having memory problems it's also it could also be related to the gpu core not necessarily the memory chips you see those data lines there coming from the memory chips if you follow them they go under the core obviously they're connected to the gpu um, and if the if this for for example here in the middle of the screen if they're having uh, if they're disconnected they're cracked or ripped this core, this chip here might be throwing errors in MATS or NVMT. But if you pull up the core and you notice that, you can fix the pad. You can rebuild it. Uh, you know, if you're you're skillful enough, you you can rebuild the pad, uh, put a new pad on there, and when you throw your new core, your new core on there will be making connection. But uh, that's why a lot of uh, uh, experience. Uh, Graphics car repair or just, you know, uh, BGA reworks, uh, people that do this type of stuff for a living, um, if they do the job properly, they do a reball, not a reflow, because a reflow is just kind of a little band-aid. Eventually, the problem will come back um, if you don't fix it right away. All right, so now we got the chip on the preheater. We're just waiting for the board to reach the right temperature. And we'll go ahead and uh, get started with the removal of this chip. All right, we have reached that point where we can lift this thing up. So why don't we do that? There you have it. All right, let's take it to the uh, workbench and put some new balls on it. You know what? Call me weird, but I love doing these things. Ray balls. I don't know. There's something satisfying about it just to see everything, you know, come together. Anyway, I'm weird like that. All right, let's uh, finish this here.
Sometimes you may encounter some rebellious ones. So for that, you have to do uh, like that one there in the middle, kind of. You just gotta uh, do that. Hopefully that does the trick or I'm gonna have to do this manually. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to get in there, fix that one. I hope it hasn't uh, joint with the other one yet. Nope, still loose. Okay, let's see if that works. There we go. Okay, let's um, do the sides now. Okay, that's it. I was just gotta wait till it cools down and then we'll um, clean it up. Oh, I get many would say, why in the heck are you um, reballing a 2080 core? Well, the answer is simple. <clears throat> the card is dead. Uh, it's got a crack on it, so I'm just, you know, uh, taking parts off of it, using it for parts. But you never know when you're going to get a 2080 card from a customer uh, that needs a reball, or maybe it has a dead core. You know, it is still a card, it is still a customer, so yeah, that's why I reball. Even up to, uh, you know, a 1070, I will reball it and have it in my little, yeah, stash over there. Uh, yeah, but that's it. Just uh, wanted to share this wonderful ASMR core reballing with you guys. I never made a video like this, but uh, that's because it's just time consuming and, in my opinion, it's a bit boring, you know, but, eh. There you have it. Hope you liked it.